Facts First presents Teen Applying to College Learns That He's a Missing Person Before we get into our video, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. We can't choose our family. We're not always happy with our family, but overall, we do love them. Most people have wonderful memories of growing up. We remember family vacations, learning to ride a bike, family holiday celebrations. Well, what would you do if one day you found out that your entire childhood was a lie and that your family is not what you thought it was? It's exactly what happened to a student named J.J. Mangina. He was 18 years old, applying to college, and he got the shock of his life. J.J. had a pretty normal childhood in Cleveland, Ohio. His single father raised him. He had a lot of fun growing up. He was born in Alabama to his father, Jonathan, and his girlfriend. They never married, but they were both dedicated to raising their son. According to JJ's father, his girlfriend left the family when her son was just five years old, and that left Jonathan to raise his son alone. He wanted a fresh start, so they moved to Cleveland, Ohio. JJ was a really good kid. He got straight A's at Cleveland High School. He was also very athletic. He excelled in sports. He was also really popular. All the kids loved JJ, and his father described him as a model child. When it came time to apply for college, JJ knew that he could probably get into any school of his choice. Between his excellent grades, his extracurricular activities, and his glowing letters of recommendation, he was a shoe in just about anywhere. But when it came time to apply for college, JJ did what most other high school students do. He went to meet with the school counselor. It was the counselor's job to make sure that all the paperwork was in order and to provide information when necessary. When the counselor was reviewing the paperwork, something didn't look right. There was a section on his father's tax information that revealed a secret, and JJ's father had some explaining to do. The school counselor noticed that something was off with JJ's social security number. After doing some checking, the counselor discovered that the social security number belonged to a boy named Julian Hernandez. Julian Hernandez was listed as missing, and so was the boy's father, Bobby Hernandez. Things just weren't adding up, and the school counselor needed answers. When Jonathan was confronted, he admitted that his real name was Bobby Hernandez. His story that JJ's mother was a deadbeat mom it turned out to be a complete lie, though. His mother was not a deadbeat or a runaway. Bobby was the runaway. In the summer of 2002, JJ's mother asked Bobby to babysit their little boy. Both parents lived in the same Vestavia Hills apartment complex, which made it convenient for them to share custody. JJ's mother often asked Bobby to babysit without incident. But that all changed on that summer day in 2002. When she dropped JJ off, she had no idea what Bobby was planning. He packed up everything he owned, emptied his bank account, and took off. He left behind a note on August 28, 2002. The boy's mother went to the police to report her son missing. His mother had no idea where her ex had taken their son, and she had no idea that the two were living a 10-hour drive away from her. Bobby created new names for himself and his son while a massive search was going on 10 hours away for the two. Posters were hung all over the city, but nobody had seen the father or the son. JJ, aka Julian, was now living a new life. He believed the stories his father was telling him about his mother. Julian's mother was devastated. For years, Julian's mother did not give up the search for her son. The police were sure that he'd been taken by his father since both disappeared at the same time. The police received several tips, but they all led nowhere. Finally, in 2015, while Julian was applying for college, she finally got a break. On November 2, 2015, Bobby was arrested on charges of kidnapping, interference with custody, and tampering with records. That charge stemmed from Bobby making a false birth certificate for his son. Julian was in shock. He couldn't believe his mother had been searching for him all these years. Julian's mother believes that her ex took their son because he was angry that she had ended their relationship. Stealing their son was his form of revenge. Julian's paternal grandmother believes that he should be sentenced for as long as her family had to suffer, wondering where Julian was. The judge sentenced him to four years in prison. Julian's trying to reconnect with his mother now, and he says that he doesn't love his father any less. He says his father's always been a great dad, and that hasn't changed. 
fortunately, there was a happy ending for all. He applied to college, learned that he was a missing person, but he hasn't let it change him. And now, he has a relationship with the mother he never knew. Subscribe for more!